file in the world, HTML. Okay. All right, guys, my Amazon packages uh, delivered to Kazakhstan. So let's get grab them. All right, guys, I grabbed my package here. I will probably unpack it a little bit later. So, yeah. All right, guys, let's unpack this package from Amazon. So this is the ND filter for my camera. Let me show you how it works. Let me put it. Is there any difference? I don't know. And you can also use it as selfie stick. So yeah, uh, I will link all my gears in the description. All right, guys. So I just left my full-time job. Um, it's already dark outside, but I'm thinking about to go into some coffee shop and uh, work on my uh, part-time project, which is like side hustle project. So let's go. Можно, пожалуйста, мне капучино с соленой карамелью? Большой. All right, guys. So we just arrived to uh, to the coffee shop to work on my uh, clipboard manager application. Uh, if you don't remember, uh, watch the previous video. Uh, I was implementing uh, pasting functionality and then uh, iterating through objects. Right now, I wanted to uh, combine them to work it proper, properly and then also um, for the last uh, night coding I was changing a little bit design so let me show you how it looks now. We go to Chrome, Finder um, and then Notes application. So I wrote a little uh, method that finds a dominant color from the image this one but main part is let's combine iterating and pasting All right, guys, so what we have implemented here for double tap, I implemented the logic when I copy the current item and then I paste it. So let's see how it works. Let's run our code, open our item. Let's put our index here and select, for example, the second item, double tap. Yay, it works. And now 
the most difficult one, the most complicated one is pasting with drag and drop where I where, where user want to select an item and drag it to the place they want to paste. So let's implement that. Alright guys, so I could handle the implementation of several types of item. I could handle file URL, HTML, image, RTF and text for now. Um, but but I already tested, it works really good, it, it, it looks sick, so but I have still uh, bugs that not all types that I'm handling is working correctly. But for now, looks like almost 80% of uh, business logic is covered. Let me show you how it works. It works really good. So, as you can see, from last night, uh, from my previous first video, I couldn't save image as an, uh, as an image if I copy it from Finder, right, from my desktop. So here I had to check if it's image, I handle it as an image, but in, in other cases I handle it as a regular file URL. So let's, let's see an example. Let's run our application. Open it. So let's see an example. I have three copied objects here. Let's go to the bottom and let's drag it. As you can see, the snapshot, the small snapshot of my custom item appears here and if I paste it it works pretty good so that's that's awesome and now let's try another one yay and then we'll we'll move forward but for now I have to head home because because my renovation should be finished uh, in couple hours uh, so I had to go and make an like an uh, final agreement with guys that is making renovation so let's go but for now end of coding I hope I can do it with as a late night coding with some snacks so we'll see Alright guys, uh, I visited my home again uh, and it's still total mess. That's why I had to uh, go to my uh, grandma's apartment. So I'll, I'll show you uh, my mess right here. Um, so for now I came uh, to my grandma's apartment and I wanted to talk about a little bit in um, lean startup approach, right? So when you create something new, uh, you don't you don't know is it works or not like if users will like or not so that's why you don't have to uh, worry much about architecture design patterns and so on so in my example guys if you can see here I have only models that is created by core data which is a uh, persistent manager right that sta uh, saves everything uh, locally in the database uh, and I have uh, managers, clipboard manager, data manager, core data manager, and so on. But uh, in UI part, if you can see, my UR, UI part is total mess. Because that is my first time uh, writing Swift UI code. I don't know how to separate them into separate like modules and other stuff. So I just keep writing everything 
on top of it as long as it works i will i will worry about it later when application will show some kind of traction but for now as you can see my files is huge like almost almost 200 lines right uh, and it's still ui so what i want to say is that please don't worry about architecture and stuff for your mvp version right you will start worrying about it when users will like your application and it start gaining some traction but for now please don't worry about it yeah that was my message for you guys but for now i'll call a day uh, because um, it's almost 11 yeah it's almost 11 pm and i have to get ready uh, for a bed so see you in the next video